Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Nalo, and today we're going to be talking about the absolutely insane news that just got dropped about an hour ago at the time of this video, which is CSGO Source 2, or just CSGO 2. Mainly I'm going to be focusing on the skin updates because that's kind of what my channel does, but I will be talking about CS2 in general as well, so we'll go ahead and get straight into that right after a word from our sponsor, Skins Monkey. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a website that you can take all of the skins that you don't want anymore and upgrade them into something pretty cool. Even if the item that you trade for is on a trade hold, it'll be added to your Skins Monkey backpack until it's ready to be withdrawn. When you use code NALO, there's actually two bonuses that you get on the site. The first one is an up to $5 bonus when trading skins, and the second one is an added 5% bonus when you're topping up your balance. And this is on top of the 30% bonus they already give you. And even if you don't have any skins to trade, Skins Monkey actually has daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways that you can enter completely for free with a variety of ways to gain more entries. So check out this great site Skins Monkey by using my link in the description below for these extra bonuses. Alright, let's talk about CS2. So like I said, just very recently today we got this big huge giant update to basically everything except CSGO itself. We first actually got videos on the Valve YouTube channel, which is a little bit unusual. Usually we get the news from the Twitter account first, but it did actually come from the YouTube channel first this time, and we got some videos basically showing off the new Source 2 engine. Just generally some updates they're going to be doing to it with some smoke updates updates and some general world building updates and stuff like that. I'll leave a link to all these videos in the description below so go ahead and check those out if you're interested in them. But all of those look really really cool. Basically we have like dynamic smokes now and some other random stuff like that. We didn't get really any information on skins though pretty much anywhere which is really really unfortunate. But then the CSGO Twitter account actually linked their web page so you can sign up for the basically limited test for CSGO 2 and in this link if you were to go ahead and follow it and go to the website you'd actually be able to scroll down and look at all the videos and all the graphical updates and stuff like that, but if you scroll down a little bit more, you'd actually see some information on skins. As we can see here, it actually says that all skins from CSGO will be ported into CS2. So luckily, we're not going to be losing any of the skins that you might have paid a ton of money for, and we're actually going to have all of them updated and released into CS2. Now, they did not provide any information on stickers, and I do think it's a little bit concerning because we don't actually know how that's going to work. I'd assume they're going to transport the stickers over, but keep in mind that they all have very unique hollow effects, so there might be something weird with how that gets updated into CS2. But yeah, as you can see by this little post on their website, we're going to have all of our skins transferred over and graphically updated and changed. So this is a big W for skin collectors. Now there are a couple things that I do want to touch on with this actual post though. First of all, if we take a look at the op pop op that's actually posted here, we can see that it actually has an orange scope now. Now to keep in mind, this does actually occur pretty frequently. They will sometimes show off skins that don't actually exist in the game or won't actually come out in the update that the promotional material is for. For example, I believe a Deagle Pink DD pet was actually in one of the promotional materials a little while back for one of the Operation updates, I believe it was Operation Riptide, but it didn't actually make it into the game. To keep in mind that this change to the Op Pop Op scope, and maybe other skins as well, may not actually occur and might just be part of the promotional material. However, there is of course a chance that it will occur and that this new scope update is actually real. And that then begs the question, what's going to happen to the Op Lightning Strike or the Op Graphite for example? Will they have their skins wrapped around the scope as well, or will we continue to have the black scopes? Personally, I prefer the black scopes, but we'll see what happens. I'm assuming there will be other updates to skins as well that aren't just like op scopes, for example, so we'll have to see what happens when the actual update drops. But for now, we do know that skins will be transferred and stickers might be transferred and that skins are going to get updated and look a lot nicer. Now, on the investment side of things, because there is going to be some updates to skins, as we know, there obviously will be a chance to take advantage of market swings as well. So for starters, I think knives are a good thing to look at just, just off the bat. As we can see by the promotional material, knives kind of have this new, like, glare effect on them, which I think is really, really cool. And that alone can really drive up the price for them. They'll look better in game as well, so I think that knives are are a pretty safe value bet. Now as for general skins, you could try to take advantage of the pop-up scope thing in the promotional material and see if that update actually does occur. The Lightning Strike and the Graphite are both very old skins and hard to obtain, so having those before a graphical update changes to them that could potentially make them look a lot better could potentially net you a decent sum of profits. Now beyond that, there's not really anything that is too set in stone. There's not really anything that is too solid to talk about. 
So unfortunately, I can't give too much investment information that actually is based in reality, but I'm sure there's many theories you can come up with to try and take advantage of some sort of change to the skins and make profit off of it. But the final thing that I'll say about investing is that keep in mind on the new skin update post, they actually note that they are legacy skins. Now I think this is actually kind of important. The legacy system could be something that is added to CSGO with older skins. Obviously we don't know how that will work, it might be a lot less important than I'm making it out to be, but I do think you should put some attention towards that. For example, in a game, Realm of the Mad God, there are items that are specifically identified as legacy items, and they are far more valuable than other items because they have the legacy identifier and cannot be obtained anymore. So if all the skins that currently exist in CSGO get some sort of legacy tag added to them, or maybe some sort of legacy quality, that could also be something that makes them a lot more valuable. Generally, keep that in the back of your mind, that could be something important, but we don't really know yet. And beyond that, I'm just kind of excited to see what new skins and items come out with the update in CS2, and I'm excited to see how they change stuff like the AK-47 Nightwish to look a little bit different with its effects in CS2. Nightwish, Headshot, etc., those skins might be something to look at as well, because the CS2 engine probably supports that holographic effect a little bit better. But anyway, that's about all I have to say for this. I'm a CSGO skins YouTuber, not really just a CSGO YouTuber in general, and I'm assuming that many other YouTubers that are more on the gameplay focus side of things will be making videos on the CS2 updates. So that's going to end off the video guys thank you so much for watching if you want more updates and discussion about cs2 and skins then go ahead and subscribe to my channel it's the best csgo content for investing anywhere else on youtube be sure to like the video to get it out to more people it's absolutely free and costs you nothing and comment down below your thoughts on the cs2 updates and what you think will happen with skins i'll see you around in the futuristic world of cs2 peace